Hello everyone, welcome to another question of PT 2 minutes. Today we are going to solve a question on critical and strategic mineral. I will give you some time, try to find out the right answer and comment it in the comment box. Okay, so before going into the question, why this question has been asked? So UPSC in past few years has been asking question related to such kind of minerals. Uh, like in last two years it has asked question on monazite, uh, as well as titanium okay and in last one year this thing also has been in lot of news due to which this question has been asked okay so the first statement says that government has identified 20 critical and strategic minerals okay so a committee was formed by the government to identify critical and strategic minerals for india and that committee has identified 30 critical and strategic minerals okay so this statement is basically false the second statement, it says that lithium, rare earth elements, platinum group elements, cobalt are included in the list. Okay. So, this statement is basically right. All of these uh, minerals are identified as critical and strategic minerals. If we see uh, whether it is lithium or rare earth elements or cobalt, basically these are used in very important technologies, cutting edge technologies, especially related to uh, renewable energy or uh, our batteries okay so lithium ion batteries are there okay so all these things are basically used there so uh, these things are important and this statement is right okay the third statement kabil a joint venture limited company has been formed with an objective to identify and acquire mineral assets of critical and strategic nature okay so kabil is basically uh, khanish bidesh india limited and it's a joint venture company which has been established by basically in, uh, government of India <coughs> with participation of three PSUs. Okay, so this statement is basically right. This joint venture company uh, company basically will <coughs> ensure that these critical and strategic minerals are basically explored and mined in India as well as outside of India, so that Indian domestic industry has continuous supply of these minerals. Okay, so basically our correct answer becomes b that is only two those of you have marked the right answer congratulations to follow more such question follow our channel on youtube